you guys, I'm Jacqueline. I have an Instagram called Jacqueline Houston. Um, that's just my full name. I know some people have thought I'm from Houston, Texas, but yeah, no, that's just my name. I'm from California. I actually live in New York right now. I live in Brooklyn. I also have a blog called The Whole Lotta Lovely that you might have checked out as well. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. I just wanted to do a tutorial on this look that I have on right now. It's kind of been something I've been wearing to work a lot. Just really nice, easy, neutral. Um, with not too many products. Um, depending on how late I am, I might eliminate a few steps. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this and keep watching if you want to see how I got this look. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. Um, I have already done my skincare, so I used um, the Organic Skin Co. The Good Oil, and then I have some sunscreen on, which is from Herbal Dynamics Beauty, their Solar Defense Mineral Sunscreen Spray, SPF 29. Um, so it's like this spray bottle. That's really nice. Um, and then I have my eye cream, all that stuff on. And the eye cream I'm using is the Skin Owl Eye Plus Nourishing and Youth Stimulating Eye Concentrate. Sounds good for like deep puffing in the morning. I use a different one at night. But yeah, so from there, I'm gonna use my favorite foundation of right now, which is sadly almost gone and dirty um this is the saint cosmetics foundation in shell 1.5 neutral so i like to just put this on the back of my hand first and then just put little dots on my face This is really nice and lightweight. Um, I would say it's like medium to buildable full coverage and it definitely doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup or anything like that. And it leaves like a satin finish, not really matte, not too dewy. So I just blend this in with this flat top kabuki brush from Crunchy, which sometimes I'll just use my um, fingers to blend and then I'll go over with my beauty blender. But you just want to do kind of buffing motions, blend it down into your neck so you don't look crazy. But you can probably see it's doing a really good job of covering everything, all the redness and uneven skin tone I had going on. I have some breakouts right now, so that's fun. Okay, so then I like to go the extra step and I take this little sponge. This is from Target um, by Sonia Kashuk, I think you say. Um, and then I'm just gonna go over to make sure it's super blended and there's no brush strokes or anything like that. You don't have to do this and you could have just gone in straight in with like a beauty blender, whatever your preference is, but this is just like how I like to do it. Okay, so that is the foundation, it's really nice. And then I'm gonna do the Well People Bio Bronzer in Natural Tan, this little stick guy. And just do kind of like bronzing contouring. So you just wanna go kind of like right under your cheekbone here you can make that little fishy face if you want. Go around my hairline a little. I like to contour my nose a little bit, like a little V-shape. And then I'm just on the sides. <laughs> and then I like to do right under my chin like this. So it just defines my jawline and I don't have um, a double chin. So I'll start here because it looks weird. Oh, and this is the Bare Minerals um, Smoothing Face Brush, which I really like. It's kind of like this duo fiber. So it blends really nicely with cream products. And you want to be soft with this so you're not like moving around all your foundation, but just blending it out so there's no harsh lines. And of course, like you could just go in with powder bronzer, but I like to do kind of multiple steps because it just stays better and it's more vibrant if you do both. Okay, so blend that out and then slim down my nose a little bit. And sometimes this gets too messy like on the bridge of my nose, so I'll just go in with some concealer to clean that up after. I 
Okay, so that is done. A little bit of warmth back into my face. Um, and then I'm gonna do concealer today. I'm kind of running out of all my concealers, but I really like the BioCorrect concealer from Well People, and this is in light. It's a really hydrating formula. It's almost, I'm gonna show it to you. It's almost got like an oily texture to it, but it stays really well. Um, so I just blend it together on my fingers and then kind of apply just in a V shape under my eyes. And then I'll take like the excess and put it on my lids as well to even everything out there. But yeah, this is like a medium, light to medium, depending on how you apply it, coverage. And I'll put a little on the bridge of my nose because things were getting crazy with my contour. So then I'll just take my sponge again and blend out. So you can see that's really good coverage. Yeah, I just really like this because I feel like I just need a little more hydration under my eyes especially as I'm 31 now. So yeah, I just feel like it doesn't look dry or like crusty under your eyes. I'm just gonna go over everything again. And then I'm gonna take the Fit Glow um, Concealer in C2 and just go on these little blemishes that I have because it's this is a really nice concealer and it's a little bit like thicker texture. So I feel like it's good for blemishes. It's not thick, I don't know, it's moussey, but it's a little bit drier, so it just kind of sticks better. So then I'll just tap with my finger at first a little bit, and then go over with my sponge again. Okay. And then I'm going to take this Ilia Beauty uh, multi-stick in the shade All of Me, which is this really pretty um, like peachy shade. It's really nice for spring. And I like to just take my finger and warm it up and then dot it on my cheeks. Just so it's easier to kind of get where you want it and not move around like the foundation a ton. And if you're messy like I'm being, you can clean it up with your sponge too and blend it out that way. But I really love these multi-sticks. You should definitely check them out if you haven't yet. They're just a really nice like wash of color and they have great shade ranges. So I'm gonna take this little brush. This is from Terry Miyahira, which I miss her. I don't know where she went. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna Kind of dab this in, bring it back to my hairline. Do a little on my nose. And then, of course, go back with my sponge. Make sure there's no weird lines. So you can see it just gives a really pretty peachy shade to your skin. Okay, so I think that's all of the cream products. Actually, I'll use the Ilia Beauty Cosmic Dancer Illuminator as well, which is really pretty. And I'm just gonna do this on the high points of my face for a little glow. You can take it on the bridge of your nose, Cupid's bow, anywhere that you wanna highlight. Don't put this where there's like a lot of texture on your skin because it's definitely gonna amplify it. Um, so just be wary of that. And then above the brows. Okay. And then again, because I'm OCD with this, blend it with the sponge again. Okay, so now we have a little glow. And then I'm just gonna take my broken um, Morphe brush, which I love this brush, so I need to buy a new one. I can't remember what this is called, but I'll list it in the description. And then I'm gonna set everything with the Ilia um, Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. And this doesn't have any color to it. It's translucent, so it's not going to give you any extra coverage or anything, but it's just going to set everything into place. So we're just going to kind of like pat it in. And then 
you can see it just kind of dulls down the shine of things a little bit too but it's just gonna make sure your cream products stay in place all day and then I feel like I lost a little bit of my bronze so I'm just going to take this Terry Terry Mia hair brush again sorry guys um, they don't have these and I love this Cloven Hello bronzer it's really affordable and it's matte so um, that's great for bronzing so you don't look muddy or anything like that and they have some different shade ranges as well okay so we're done with that part <laughs> and then i'm going to use one of the eyeshadow palettes i've been loving recently and this is the rude rude nude renaissance um palette from honeybee gardens and this has all these beautiful shades um sorry my lights are shining in here but you've probably seen me post about this on instagram if you follow me on there but it's super affordable. I have a coupon code if you want to check it out and save a little bit of money. I'll put that in the description as well. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start out with one Han Skincare um, eyeshadow first because I like this as a base color. This is called Celebrate and it's a shimmer shade and it's a really nice um, like champagne kind of color. So you can see that there. And I like to apply this with my finger. You can use a brush, whatever you like, but this just gives me the most color payoff. So I'm just going to do this all over my lid. And I'm gonna take it like in my inner corner too, just to widen and brighten. I love their shadows. They're really pigmented and pretty and affordable too. You can also use this shade as a highlight, which I do sometimes. I'll add a little extra, my nose. Keep it well. And then, I'll go back to this palette, like I said, um, I would. And I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush from Morphe. I will list what number it is, um, cause I can't remember, it's rubbed off. I'm gonna go in this with the shade Adonis, which is this pretty peach shade right here. And I'm just gonna put this all throughout my eyeshadow socket crease, whatever you wanna call it. This color is really pretty for like blue eyes. But you can use it on any eye color, of course. But it just really helps blue eyes pop. So I'm just kind of messy with this. You want to do like little circles and windshield wiper motions just to get the color in there. So that. And then I'm going to take this second and the third shades and mix them. And that's Fresco and Venus. And then do the same thing. So that's really nice. And then I'm going to take this smaller little brush right here. And this is a Morphe M433. And I'm going to take those same colors, Fresco and Venus, and just do this under my eye. I just think going under your eye kind of just brings the whole look together. I don't do it all the time, but I just think it's nice. You don't want to be too naked under there. Okay, then I'm going to keep this same brush, and I'm going to use the last darkest shade on the top, and that's called Chateau. And this is a matte shade. And I'm going to just focus this on the outer corners of my eyes, just to give some more depth. Some days I'll stop before this and not darken it up, but just depending um, on the look I want and how much makeup I want to be wearing, how much time I have. <laughs> So that's just getting the color where I want it. And then I'm going to take that big fluffy brush again and just blend so everything looks seamless. Um, and that's really the key kind of with makeup is just blending. So you don't have any harsh lines. You want everything to be very seamless and blended out and just fade into each other. Like color gradations. Gradations? Okay. 
Okay, so I'm happy with that, I think. Um, gives enough drama. And see how it looks. And then I'm gonna take my Saint Cosmetics little brush. This is just a little angled, super thin um, liner brush. I'm gonna spray my Rose Neroli face mist on here. Just get it wet. And then I'm gonna take that darker shade again, Chateau, and just line my lash line with this. And I'm just gonna do, I think, the outer half of my eye, really. This is just gonna make the lash line look a little bit fuller. Okay, so that gives a little something extra. And then put that back in my palette so I don't lose it. And then I filled in my brows a little bit already just because they're super annoying. Um, but I use the Plume Nourish and Define Pomade in um, Ashy Daybreak. I have Golden Silk as well, which is the lighter shade, but my hair is not super, super blonde right now. And I like that look of darker brows. Um, so sometimes I mix them just depending, but um, they have this little brush with the spoolie and the angled brush on the end, which is great. So you just like brush up my lap lashes my brows and mine are annoying because they're wavy I don't know if anyone else has wavy brows but they're so annoying I just start at the front of my brows and flick up and then once you get here I'd take it horizontally and then just fill in the tails you want to be lighter handed in the front just so you don't have that like block looking brow um, and just make it look more natural and then you can be a little bit more precise down here and darken things up um, but I'm just gonna do a little touch up to them. I'm contemplating microblading because I really don't have the tails of my brows anymore. If you guys have done it, let me know what you think or if you recommend. I feel like it was super popular for a while and everyone was doing it and now kind of like fell off. So if you've done it, let me know. I also just need to get them shaped because they're unruly. Okay, so that's it for the brows. And then for mascara, I've been obsessed with the Honest Beauty um, mascara. So you can get this at Target, it's really cheap. I think you can even order it on Amazon, but I'll link it for you, of course. But this one peach side has a primer and then the other side's a mascara. So you start with the primer, let it dry for 30 seconds. Um, and then you apply the mascara on top and just really lengthens, um, separates and just, yeah, it gives you some volume. So I really like it. So if you can see, it just gives really good um, length compared to this guy. I also really like that you can just go into Target and pick this up if they're not sold out. My roommate tried to get it the other day and it was gone. So, but yeah, I just like that you can get it. It's affordable. You don't have to wait for something to be shipped to you. And this one stays really well too. It doesn't flake or anything on me. I can wear it to the gym after work and it doesn't um, bleed or anything. And then I don't do the primer on the bottom. I've never tried that because I don't really feel like I need um, that, but I just turn my brush horizontally and do the bottom lashes. Okay, so mascara is done. Definitely check this out if you have not already. It's amazing. Then for lips, what am I gonna do? I will do, I feel like I've been in such a rut lately. I really just love my Honeybee Gardens Zen lip liner. It's getting all stubby. 
Um, it's just a really natural pink shade. So I love this and it's really affordable too. And then, hmm, should I go with <laughs> my Saint Cosmetics lipstick? I feel like you guys, if you follow me, you know I'm always wearing like pinks and neutrals. I do love bold colors, but I've just been kind of into this lately. Um, hmm. Whatever, next time I'll branch out. But today I'm gonna use Saint Cosmetics City of Angels lipstick and I really like these. Um, I don't know why I smelled it. <laughs> um, but this is just a really nice everyday pink shade. And these are like a satin finish, so still feel hydrating on your lips, but still stay pretty well. So that's what that looks like. <laughs> and then, I'll add some gloss to make things somewhat exciting. This is the Han Skincare Cosmetics Lip Gloss in, what is this called? You guys, I don't know what this is called, but I will link it. But it's this really pretty kind of peachy pink shade and they smell like vanilla cupcakes, so. All right, so this is the final look. Um, this is my everyday kind of makeup look I've been doing recently. Um, maybe with a few extra step steps, like I mentioned, just depending um, if I have time in the morning. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this look. Definitely check out some of these products. Let me know if you have any questions at all about anything, um, but I'll link everything I used below. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this. Let me know if you like these videos or what you want to see next, um, more reviews of products or tutorials like this. But yeah, thanks for watching and um, hope you have a great day.